so there I was, flying along, minding my own business, of course, when all of a sudden, this round, white bird zooms up right next to me. Well, who was it? What'd you do? I said, well, hello there. I'm Norval, and who might you be? But this round white bird doesn't say a word. Oh, no. Oh, no. Then, zoom, she drops down right out of sight. Wow! So, I look down. I see this white bird just lying in the middle of a field. Was she okay? Clifford, I had the same question. So I flew down to see if I could help. Norville, that wasn't a round white bird. It was a baseball. Well, excuse me. What, a, a baseball? Well, I, I guess that could explain why she was so quiet. Hey, guess what, everyone? I'm going to the grooming shop today. Well, uh, that's great, Jorge. Terrific. It sure is. Great. What's a grooming shop? Well, it's, you know, a, a grooming shop where you, uh, you shop for grooming, I guess. Oh. Whatever it is, Nina says I get to go. Grooming is just a fancy word for keeping yourself clean. So and I groom ourselves all the time. We lick our fur clean with our sticky tongues. Oh, is that what I have to do at the grooming shop? Of course not. Only cats can do that. Dogs probably just get a fancy bath with bubbles and stuff. A bath? That's worse than a sticky tongue. No, no, relax there, Jorge. I have seen lots of grooming shops, and I know all about them. This should be good. First, they give you a bath. Well, I guess that won't be too bad. Then, they trim your nails. Oh, that sounds okay. Then, they clip your fur off. <gasps> clip your fur off? That's awful. One time, Nina's baby cousin pulled the fur on my tail, and I didn't like it at all. Don't listen to Norville, Jorge. They don't have babies at grooming shops. Do they, Norville? Well, I, I've seen uh, maybe a one or two. Oh, I don't want to go. I don't want to go to the grooming shop. Don't worry, Jorge. You don't have to go to a shop to get groomed. We can groom you right here. Okay, Jorge, stand right here. Your grooming will begin any minute now. Hey, what's gonna happen? What am I waiting for? Whoa! <laughs> Good job! Great! <laughs> that should get him nice and clean. Hey, look at that! The little hot dog is enjoying himself! Okay, Jorge. Time for some styling. Hey, whoa. Wait a second. Oh, that tickles. <laughs> Ta-da! Wow. I've never seen anything like it. Cool. Oh. Jorge? What happened to you? Oh, my goodness. You're a mess. I'm going to call the grooming shop right now and see if we can get you in early. This is definitely a grooming emergency. Hmm. Some people just don't appreciate cutting-edge fashion. <coughs> oh, now what am I gonna do? <coughs> Who wanna help me play with my squeak burger, Jorge? <sighs> no thanks. Come and play, Jorge! Yeah, you can be on my team! Oh, no thanks. Hey, excuse me there, kids. Uh, I just want to give this super-sized dog biscuit to my very good buddy, Jorge, here. No thanks. Wow. The poor guy is really worried. He turned down a dog biscuit. I don't want to go! Help him, guys. There must be some way we can keep him from having to go to that grooming shop. 
I really don't think it's a big deal to go there. He'll be with Nina. I'm sure he'll be fine. Oh, why does my fur have to be neat and clean anyway? Wait, I have a big idea. Well, maybe if Jorge wore clothes, Nina wouldn't care if his fur was all neat and clean. She wouldn't even be able to see it. That's perfect. Great idea, Clifford. I still think he should just go to the grooming shop. But if you guys want to try this... Yes! <sighs> Come on, Jorge. We have a plan. You do? Are you dressed yet, Jorge? Um, sort of. Oh, come on out there, hot dog. Do I have to? Yes! yes! Okay. Well, here I am. What do you think, Daffodil? Uh, well, uh, uh, I like your hat. Oh, I'm gonna go and show Nina right now. <laughs> Jorge, you look adorable. Hey, it worked. Nina thinks he looks adorable. Oh, you are so cute. Of course, I'll have to take all that off before we head off to the grooming shop. I came to tell you that we got your appointment changed. We'll be leaving in just a few minutes. You sure do look cute. <laughs> well, now what am I going to do? There's only one thing left you can do, pal. That's right. Hide. <laughs> You're right, Norville. I'm gonna look for a hiding place right now. Norville, what did you tell him to do that for? Daffaloony, I ran out of ideas, okay? How about this idea? We all just make Jorge feel better about going to the grooming shop. But he doesn't want to go. Clifford, Jorge doesn't even know what the grooming shop is. I say that if Nina thinks it's a good place for him to go, then he should go. Gosh, I didn't think of that. Nina would never let anyone hurt Jorge. We should tell him that. But now he's hiding. How will we find him? Oh, just leave it to me. Great hiding place, Jorge. Really? No. Mm, how about now? Uh-uh. No. It's my tail, isn't it? It always gives me away. You know, Jorge, Nina really loves you. Oh, I know that. She'd never take you anywhere that wasn't safe, would she? No, she takes really great care of me all of the time. That's what I thought. So, maybe taking me to the grooming shop is just another way that she takes good care of me? I think you're on to something. <sighs> I'm sure you're right, but I still don't want to go, Daffodil. So what will you do? Stay out here and hide forever? Right through dinner, and breakfast, and lunch, and stop! You're right. I can't miss lunch. You know, maybe the grooming shop won't be so bad after all. Jorge, where are you? Time to go. Oh, there's Nina. I better go. Good luck, Jorge. Daffodil? Mm hmm? Thanks. You're welcome, Jorge. There you are, boy. Time to go. Oh, poor Jorge. All we can do now is wait and be here for him when he gets back. Jorge is going to be just fine. Nina will make sure of that. Okay, everyone. Now remember, we have to be brave for Jorge. Right. Oh, brother. Hi, everyone. What happened? Hi, Jorge. Hey, dear, how do I thought the grooming shop is a great place. Norville had it all wrong. Really? What a surprise. Oh, yeah. They treat you really nice there, and they give you a new squeak toy when you're all done. <laughs> I knew that all the time. And don't I look handsome? You sure do. <laughs> and you smell good, too. So Nina took good care of you, huh, Jorge? 
Oh, she sure did, Daffodil. I can't believe how worried I let myself get when I didn't even know what a grooming shop was. Well, you know, it's like I always say. You should never jump to conclusions. Nina would never take me any place that wasn't good for me. That's why I'm not a bit worried about my trip to the veterinarian tomorrow for a checkup. Oh, no! Not the veterinarian! Do you know what happens in there? Norville! Yes, that's my name. Don't misuse it. Huh? Oh, yeah, well... Well, I don't really know what happens there, but if Nina thinks you should go, then I'm sure it's a good idea.